Hey, welcome back everyone. This is another video from Handyman University. My name is Brennan. We're going to be talking about today how you can start a handyman business with little to no experience. And uh, this is actually how I started my business. I kind of fell into it. And so we're going to start out with telling how I started my business briefly. Then we're going to go into what jobs to offer when you don't know many skills and then what tools you're going to need and then business setup as far as insurance and structure, all that stuff and growth after that to get you going. So the first four are just gonna be whatever it takes to get you in the game, just get you rolling. And the rent, the last part's gonna be how to move forward from there and really grow this to something legit. So first off, I started my business just kind of falling into it. Like I said, I, uh, I was 19. I was just finished up my uh, the spring semester, so it was summer break. And I was kind of like, I don't really wanna get a job at McDonald's or anything, honestly. and I needed some money, wanted some money, was bored. So I was like, okay, there's this app called Nextdoor someone told me about. I went on, someone needed their garden weeded. So I was like, okay, I can do that for a couple bucks. You're gonna pay 15 an hour. And at the time I was like, that's pretty good. So I went and did that. And she, when I got there, she's like, well, I actually, someone already weeded the garden, but you can clean out my garage instead. So I was like, even better, because I'd much rather do that anyway. So I did that. And before I was even halfway through the job, she recommended me to her friend. And she happened to have a couple rental properties and a really nice house in the area. So I went and started doing jobs for them. Mostly gardening work for them. And then he had me start uh, painting his rentals, um, fixing mailboxes, stuff like that. Like he just would be like, can you do it? And even if I said no, he's like, well, here, learn on my property. And that was really super helpful. A lot of people just went ahead and said, hey, we know, like, I understand you're young, you're starting your, your business here. Uh, let me... Let me give you tools in exchange for work or I'm willing to let you work on this uh, even if you don't do it perfect to try to learn skills and stuff like that so that when you're starting out is really helpful and I think when I was because I was younger that like that helped me a lot I had that going for me but people that want to help out new people starting businesses then they feel like they're a part of you and they want to be people want to be part of that so that's kind of how that worked and then I just decided to run with it dropped out and uh, here we are today uh, almost five years later so uh, so that's kind of how I started. So what kind of jobs do you offer when you're starting your handyman business? So if you have no experience at all, like I did, uh, first off, when I say no experience, I, I didn't really, I worked with a carpenter for like six months when I was 18 and that was like, I was pretty much sweeping, pull the board here. So I kind of just soaked stuff up. We did a lot of painting. He did have me do painting. So I did learn how to paint very well. Um, but a lot of it was just like I soaked it up. So if you could go work for somebody for a little bit, even if it's just six months, whatever, you're going to learn a lot whether you realize it or not. But let's just say you got nothing really. You kind of have to have the brain for it in the sense that you got to know how things work. And even if you don't know how to do something, as long as you have the basics of how everything works together, you should be able to go ahead and do most jobs. So I would go ahead and I would say start with like furniture assembly, uh, hanging art pictures, just doing like odd jobs like junk removal, clean outs, or changing light bulbs, smoke detectors, stuff like that. And then uh, what I did is I used YouTube. If I didn't know how to do something, I'd look up on YouTube, say, okay, yeah, that looks like I can do that. And I would just study it the night before, week before, whatever, really saw if I could do this job, gave him a price, went and did it. Now, when I first started out, I charged $15 an hour for like the first, oh, I wanna say almost three, four, five months. And I was making like no money. Well, I thought I was making money, but I was making no money. It felt great at the time when I was 19. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I would just start out with the bare basics, right? Grow your clientele from there. And then again, as people say, hey, like, do you do this? Say, well, just be honest with them. Like, oh, I've never done this. I think I can do this. Do you want me to do this? A lot of times people will do that. You can give them a discount. You learn. It's kind of like paying tuition, like an internship though, because you're still getting paid and you're not doing it for free, but it's, it's, a, it's a win win to everybody. So I would do that. And then as far as tools, base the tools. So this is how I started out too. I bought like the bare minimum. I bought like a drill with my first tool and like a tape measure and a hammer. Like that's basically it. And then as a job came up that I was gonna do, I made sure that the job price at least covered my new tools. So I, was, I wasn't making like money at the time, but it was covering my tools and I just buy them as I need them. And that's kind of how I grew my business. And once I got my rates up where they were supposed to be, then I had money to buy tools anyways. Um, but that, that's kind of how I grew my stuff, especially because I didn't know if it was, was going to be something I was going to stick with or not. I was kind of, kind of thinking like, oh, it's a part-time thing, but I wasn't sure. Um, 
so yeah, you can buy your tools and start out. So that's what I would recommend. Buy like the basics. If you're gonna offer the furniture, buy screwdrivers, go to Harbor Freight. Go buy some cheap stuff. You don't gotta, I started out with Cobalt, now I'm a Milwaukee fan. And uh, so everything's red, but started out with Cobalt. They worked great for what I needed. I made money with them and uh, no one ever said anything about it. So don't be embarrassed. Go buy Ryobi, they're cheap. Got tons of tools. I mean, something like that, right? Just get your feet wet, get into it. They'll get the job done. Uh, go to Harbor Freight, get some screwdrivers, wrenches, all that good stuff, tape measures, uh, just the basics, right? And then scale as you need to. And then as far as business setup, so do you need to go get an LLC right off the bat, get all this? I would say no, I didn't for the first, I think the first four months that I operated, I didn't have any of that set up. Um, I didn't even have insurance for the first four months. And to be honest, even nowadays, I've only had like five people ask if I have insurance. I mean, I do, but no one cares anyways, no one thinks about it. So when you're starting out doing like side gigs, probably not gonna be an issue. Um, just don't mess, don't mess up, like be smart. Don't take on stuff that you're gonna screw yourself on. But I would recommend just start building it, start doing it. Once you get a couple jobs, fund, go get insurance, go to your county clerk, do a DBA, doing business as you don't got to go do an LLC right off the bat. Um, now you should, if you can, I guess if you have startup money, go do it, but it's not, it's not necessary. Just people get wrapped up in that the LLC is the business and the name's the business and the phone, blah, blah, blah. That's not a business. That's just whatever. You got to actually go out and get business and make money. That's what all that matters. And then the rest of it, sure. You got to have that, but just go make money. So I would do that. Make sure. So this is a critical flaw that I had when I started my business. I wasn't sure that it was gonna be a legit thing. And so it was just cobbled together and then became a legit thing. And then had all this crap that I started here pushed into it. So I didn't have a separate phone number, didn't have separate emails, didn't have like all this stuff separate. So then I got to a point when I scaled, I was like, crap. So make sure set up a business phone number, Google Voice is free, do that. Get a separate from your personal, get a separate Gmail or whatever, that's free, make a new email. Um, do a website, like a Wix website, it's like 20 bucks a month, or a Google My Business, do a Google My Business and a Facebook page, all right? Facebook page could be your website and the Google My Business, drive people to your Facebook, it's free, all of that's free, build your clientele, get reviews, start scaling, and then how are you gonna get your first jobs? Again, Nextdoor, Facebook, Craigslist, talking to family, getting reviews, it all works together, word of mouth is how you're gonna grow your business for free, right? And then, then once you get some money rolling, go do door hangers, flyers, then you can start Google ads, Facebook ads, and grow from there. And that's kind of how you do that. So then growth for the long term, um, once you get going on that, right, you get your rates where they need to be, this is all a trial before, but get your rates where you need to be, then start building, and then along this, this whole time, right, you, you're building your skills. You're doing jobs that you're not sure you can do, but you, you tell the customer they let you do it. You do that like 10, 12 times. Okay, now you're good, you can do them. Practice on your own house. If you don't have your own house, you have a rental or whatever, okay. Build yourself, build yourself a mock wall, go get some two by fours, frame a wall, put some sheetrock on that, cut a hole in it, punch a hole in the center of it with a hammer, whatever. Practice doing drywall repair, okay? You can do that on a big sheet four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, whatever you wanna do, right? Just get good, get your skills up, practice hanging art on it. Where's the stud? Get the sheetrock plugs, whatever you gotta do, right? There's ways to do it, and if you wanna be successful, you gotta dedicate yourself to the business, you gotta learn, learn, learn. Even when you're not doing jobs, you need to go home, watch YouTube, read books, whatever you gotta do, learn how to get your skills up so you can get your money out. 